All right. My wife's been complaining about her uh, her TJ. She keeps saying stuff like, doesn't feel right, I'm gonna die, I almost crashed, blah, blah, stuff like that. So here I get a quick look at it. I kind of got an idea what I think it is, but we'll see. Why is there so many ants down here? Jeez. <sighs> We're going to try not to overthink this too much, but we'll see. Alright, that's part of it. That's good. At least it's loose. Hey, quit spinning. I'll take it. How are you supposed to get this freaking thing off? Somebody welded these on after they put the tie rod on. Because when you go here, Well, I don't want to say anything discouraging or disparaging about the guy that built that this Jeep, but I'm guessing the uh, sway bar links were an afterthought. This thing here is loose too, I think. Yeah, it's loose too. Well. Try to tighten that up as we can. All right, now this is out. Gotta go back in the same way. Oh, well, nothing can ever go easy. This job's gone completely to crap. So, as you can see, this piece was welded in here, so it would have been a through hole and then a sleeve. I think they got welded on, and as you can see, it's not going to tighten up. So I'm going to have to grind the top of that, probably get the sleeve out, find another sleeve, etc., and uh, go from there. But anyways, that's pretty much how every job goes at my house. Whatever that is, yeah, whatever that thing is. The more I mess with this, the more I think I might have had something to do with it because I did so much work on this Jeep back in the day. But yeah, all right. All right. Well, this job went totally to crap. Um, after some research, turns out that um, this had a WJ tie rod flip kit. The bushings inserts to flip it wore out. So I think I'm gonna make some 
um, tomorrow, or maybe I'll order some. I, I did find uh, the company that makes them. Clayton has them. So, um, but they're like 25 bucks a piece. So, anyways, um, we'll see how this goes and uh, try to get my wife's Jeep back to her. She's kind of bummed out. All right, these are the bushings I made. I should probably cut to a shot of me, a couple shots of me making them. point I think I can get the cotter key in. I need about 800 thou under the nut. Which is right about there. And that'll squeeze in a little bit more. I think I should be good. Alright. Let me tell you, it's like 90 degrees out here. And it's like almost seven o'clock at night so uh, i'm gonna try to put this back together real quick i'll kind of show you what i got got a few things laid out uh, these were the old bushings these are the new ones got a taper in them there those are going to go in like this down put the nuts on i got to cut a little bit off of the tie rod i didn't have enough adjustment that's that's where i found the nut so it had like absolutely no adjustment on it so we're gonna fix that real quick. Anyways, we're gonna to try to get this back together. Maybe take it for a test drive, see if our death wobble, death, wobble of death, the death wobble, deadly wobble, dead wobbly. I don't know. Anyways, we'll do a little cut and chopping. Let's we'll jump right to the sweaty shirt scene and uh, try to get this put back together tonight. Hopefully all the measurements are correct. All right, we'll cut the other side, put it back together. How can I not have any anti-seas? This doesn't make any sense. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Looks like I need the washer. I guess. Hopefully I can still get her home. good yeah the problem is ow the problem is the nut is like the same side as the hole well I know what I'm gonna do about this I gotta spin this off put another one on luckily I have another one all right I went ahead and installed that other one uh, with just the nut on the bottom the way I think it's supposed to be installed. I don't think it can actually pull through there. It has about 50 thousandths per edge. So I'm going to go ahead and get the tires on, set the steering, and hopefully take it for a test drive after I fix that. So that's like... And this was like this. Well, my GoPro's acting all crazy. All right, well, I did a quick alignment, adjusted a couple things, checked it, make sure nothing was hitting. So, probably go for a test drive with the wife, see how it runs. That's all we can do.